So staying up a little late one night, the wondrous world of the YouTube algorithm presented me some of these videos from the early 2000s that were featuring this film I had never heard of called Fujifilm Industrial. So naturally, I did what anybody who is a film lover and is drinking. I ordered more rolls than I needed. So this is one of my adventures with Fujifilm Industrial 100. If you're interested in film photography and or finding fossils, stay tuned. Shout out to f-stop cameras they were the only ones who had this film that weren't charging an astronomical price for it and so i bought two rolls recently la opened up their hiking trails and my girlfriend and her brother and i decided to go to a little known campground called fossil mountain we thought that there would be like a sign-in area or somewhere where you could rent a space i was just gonna rent a spot and camp and then use that as an excuse to walk around because that's what they advertised. There was none of that. So we just kind of walked around this campsite. I was a little too worried. I wasn't going to take enough pictures because it wasn't particularly a scenic area. So I, I just started firing off shots that I normally wouldn't fire off because I wanted to make sure that I had pictures to talk about this film for this video. We did end up walking around and we think I think we even found an area where people were digging. There was definitely like some work sites. I don't know if they were for fossils or not but we didn't end up finding anything and I only got a few shots. My favorite of the shots here actually is this shot where I think because the film is so expired that the it folded so much when I was scanning it that it kind of created this like weird vintage bokeh around the center but I actually liked it so I just kept it and I didn't rescan it. So we were really disappointed we didn't find any fossils at this area. It's not a well-known area so I thought we had a better chance because there hasn't been as many people in that area looking for it. So we were really disappointed in that. But just to kind of make up for it, I, said, I decided, hey, let's go check out this park in Santa Clarita. It's called Whitney Canyon. It's supposed to be really nice. So devastated, we go to Whitney Canyon. We ended up hiking a lot and we weren't really super prepared because we had just got done on a hike. So we were a little tired, but the, there was a, definitely a lot better views. And, you know, we ended up having a pretty good hike. But sure enough, right as we decided to leave, we were walking out, we passed this creek, and my girlfriend's brother goes, hey, I found some fossils. <laughs> so at this park that's heavily trafficked, right on the trail we weren't even looking for it, he ended up finding a fossil. So everything kind of came full circle, and I ended up getting some better pictures there too. If we would have started our day there, maybe it would have been better. It was, it was actually pretty funny. I got the pictures back. That leads to my next point. The videos I was watching were from the early 2000s, and the film was already expired then, and I had read the blog on the F-Stopper website, and they had talked about that there's it's pretty heavy on the grain, which I was kind of expecting, because I, I believe this film was expired in 1999, and it's 2020, but boy, I was not expecting the amount of grain that it came with it was so much grain I mean it's crazy I even just to see I, I tried raising the denoiser in Lightroom and it didn't even make a dent this stuff is very grainy that's not to say I didn't get some shots I enjoyed out of it I did there was a couple shots that I really really liked is it a film I would maybe use again well yeah it's gonna have to be because I bought two rolls we went on another adventure and I was shooting it so yes there will be another video on it 
but it, it's heavily grainy if you want that real grainy vintage raw look hey go for it f stopper has it pretty cheap it might be worth a try but yeah i mean it is the grain is heavy in this one which is just such a shame it makes me sad that fujifilm actually discontinued it because the videos i saw with it that were from the early 2000s were actually pictures look so good and crisp and it would be such a good alternative i think it did not have the signature fujifilm green in the shadows or anything like that it was very flat and it, give you, it gave you a lot to work with in editing i mean you could tell that the structure of the film was really good at one point and i would have loved to have seen this stuff in its prime i mean it's just it's a real shame that fujifilm discontinued it and it's something maybe hopefully they bring back one day even still it had a lot of latitude to work with it definitely handled the highlights really well handled the low lights really well I shot it at ASA 50 because I know the math isn't perfect, but I thought, you know, it's expired. I'll give it a little bit more room and give it a little bit more light on it. I don't think I needed to. I could have shot it at box speed and it would have been fine. Some of the shots even came out a little hot. If you want this super grainy feel or maybe you want a super vintage look, go for it. If not, if you just want a good grab and go film, I mean, literally pharmacy film would be better. I am glad I tried it. I It, it, it still was fun to shoot. It, it was fun to edit, like it wasn't a complete waste. If you just need something cheap and you don't really, you know, care, I think it is pretty reasonably priced. So, you know, it, do, it does have good latitude. I would honestly rate it about two and a half fossil finds in the wrong park out of five. But I, again, I am happy I shot with it. I am happy I got to get my hands on it and I would love to see it come back. I would really like to see what this film was supposed to look like. That was my fossil adventure with Fujifilm Industrial 100. If you've shot with this stuff and maybe got some different results than I did, let me know in the comments below. I will read and respond to them. There's just one thing I wanna talk about before this video is completely over. And that is obviously with everything going on in this country and around the world right now, I know people don't come to this channel for that type of content. I will talk about it in a future video. Unfortunately, the B-roll for these videos is film previous. Talk about how the film community could maybe contribute to this and, and help. I will say I donated to an organization that helps fight against police brutality and is connected to the Black Lives Matter movement. From this video till, till that video, it'll be in the description if you want to donate. I really only have two people who constantly watch these videos and that's my mom and my sister. Hey guys, but if you happen to be someone who watches this channel more often, I, d I don't want to completely ignore it, but also I know that's not why you come here. So um, we do kind of tackle it in our own way in the future. I think it won't be the next video, but it'll be the video following that. And I thought that's actually a good thing because maybe some of the hype will die down. Hopefully not, but maybe it will. And this would be kind of my way to say something maybe when everyone else has kind of forgotten about it. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.